I used to work in shoe recycling, but it was soul destroying. Our first video of our case study of 1LIC or NEE uh, is going to be Kenya, and we're just focusing on the location and importance of the country in this video. So Kenya, highlighted there on the map, is located uh, on the equator in central eastern Africa. It has a border with the Indian Ocean to the east. A little more zoomed in, we can also see our um, neighbouring countries, Tanzania to the south, uh, Uganda to the uh, west, South Sudan to the northwest, Ethiopia to the north, and Somalia to the um, east. Obviously, as I've already mentioned, Indian Ocean coastline there. Uh, just to draw your attention, the uh, most important things for us there are Nairobi, the capital city, but also Mombasa, an incredibly important port city for us uh, regarding the Toyota case study. A little bit more of the geography here. Um, if you look at the um, map on the left first, you can see that uh, as a general rule, the highlands of Kenya are found to the uh, south and west, whereas the plains uh, and generally uh, nature reserves uh, can also uh, be found to the uh, east. There are some um, nature reserves that we don't actually study up in the uh, mountainous regions though. Our um, uh, nature reserve that we're interested in, the Zavo National Park. If you turn across to the uh, right hand map, you can see the Zavo National Park is in your lowlands area in the uh, far south of the country. So, important to Kenya, this is the bit that's going to take up the majority of this video. We need to understand how important Kenya is both regionally and in terms of our region, we're going to focus on East Africa and the whole globe as well. Now, in a previous example, um, before switching to Kenya, we used Nigeria, which was actually far easier to argue was globally important. However, with the use of this video, we can certainly argue that Kenya is of global importance. So starting regionally, uh, Kenya is part of the East African trading community. This is a free trade zone where member countries uh, can import and export freely uh, without charges. So, um, uh, or quotas as well, you can sell as much as you want. So Tanzania can't stop imports from Kenya and vice versa. It's similar to the European Union in this case. Uh, however, it does not allow um, the freedom of movement as the EU does. Now, in terms of the East African community, Kenya is the richest and most developed of, of this group. As a result, it has big influence on the other members of this group, particularly in terms of a free trade zone, as Kenya is pretty much the only one of those countries with a, a growing uh, manufacturing industry. It can actually export its finished goods to the rest of East Africa. So its finished goods, as you'll see in later videos, include the Hino uh, Toyota model. The fact that Kenya is producing these finished goods means it can export it to those countries and it's got almost like a customer base there. South Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania as example countries are desperate to buy those finished products which Kenya can make and Kenya can make a lot of money exporting it to these countries. Furthermore, um, uh, 100,000 migrants uh, from uh, South Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania move to Kenya every year to work as uh, informal and formal workers within Kenya. So Kenya is important to East Africa, uh, it's important to the region if you like, because uh, the countries that border Kenya see it as an opportunity for a place to go for, for work and to earn more money. Secondly, um, Kenya, just to, to recap really, is a, of huge regional importance because of its economic size. However, it also has a, a very important port named Mombasa that we will again cover in the Toyota case study. 22 million tonnes of cargo every year come through this port and much of that cargo which is imported is traded with other East African countries. That's why Kenya is considered the gateway to East Africa. Considering its neighbours briefly, Somalia to the north isn't a particularly safe place for cargo ships to venture to. And as a result, um, products that be sold to South Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania and, and actually Ethiopia as well will come through Kenya as it's considered a safer port. This makes Kenya incredibly important to the future of those countries around it as it acts as a trading partner. So the cargo comes into Kenya, then Kenya exports those to, for example, Uganda and Tanzania. 
Remember, Kenya also produces those products. It can make finished goods to export as well. Outside of the uh, economics or um, the political reason for Kenya um, being the uh, port within East Africa, Kenya has also offered its advice, information or um, uh, techniques, if you like, on environmental conservation. So Kenya has uh, national parks such as Tsavo and has been somewhat successful in managing the issues that it sees there. As a result, it can offer advice to Tanzania and uh, Uganda to try and protect their wildlife as well. So Kenya has a role of uh, leading these East African nations in their fight against um, poaching mainly. Now globally, this is a slightly more tricky one to make Kenya uh, important. In terms of East Africa, Kenya has a, a, a central role to play. In terms of uh, globally, Kenya's role is, is much more marginalised. However, uh, 250,000 Kenyan migrants work abroad every year in places that include the UK, but predominantly South Africa uh, and its bordering countries. Uh, with that in mind, it makes uh, Tanzania important because those people are contributing to their uh, economy of neighbouring countries. Kenya is also an agricultural exporter. What that means is it grows crops and exports them abroad. For example, tea and green leaves, which will be one of your case studies. Um, they export them around the world. So Kenya becomes important as um, a country that feeds the rest of the world. It produces the um, products for other countries to consume. I should point out their primary products. Global companies such as Nokia, Toyota, Samsung also have chosen Kenya for their African headquarters. The reason why is Kenya is considered a safe country and as a result of that Kenya can be considered globally important for those companies as it gives them a foothold into Africa. It enables those companies such as Toyota to sell their products in other African countries. And the final one, a political um, argument, is that the United Nations has quite a lot of ongoing um, peacekeeping missions within the continent of Africa. It um, centres itself in Kenya on the grounds that it's a safe place for uh, training, but also it's a place which is uh, connected well enough through, through the airport and the port to get people to quickly. This means Kenya plays a role in uh, conflicts across the continent of Africa and in addition on the grounds that the United Nations is centred there a lot of Kenyans have had the opportunity to work as peacekeepers and they actually make up, apart from Nigeria, they are the second largest uh, contributor to the African Union uh, forces. And the final side, the importance of Kenya globally, obviously, uh, as you know, Kenya is a tourist hotspot. You have two million international uh, tourists every year, including from the UK. So it provides um, a place for, for leisure. It also, obviously, the airway connects people well uh, to the UK and the USA through uh, Nairobi or Kenyatta Airport, which means that um, Kenya is important for the exportation of goods. Final one, uh, Kenya has a rainforest and many national parks as well. So it's incredibly important globally for uh, carbon emissions. And what I mean by that is Kenya can act as a carbon sink. If it stops cutting down its trees so much and the grasslands are able to grow, they can trap carbon dioxide, which means there's less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which means global warming can be reduced. Obviously, also Kenya is full of um, rare and exotic uh, animals such as the elephant, which um, Kenya has a role to play globally to conserve those animals for future generations. Hope it all makes sense. Come and see us down in H7 if there's anything I've gone through that you're not too sure about.